Now, if you buy the 16 inch over the 14 inch, you are getting one advantage that I personally feel is a huge difference, and that is the Oh, alright y'all, so the questions that I've been getting on my videos that I've done so far, and shout out to all of y'all, man, for watching and hitting 10K views, man, a day on them bad boys, y'all, I really appreciate it, man, y'all are the real MVP out there, so go ahead and hit that like button in this one, let's run this one up too. Alright y'all, so the questions that I've been getting a lot, man, in my DMs about my videos are, is the 16 inch that much bigger than the 14 inch, is 10 core CPU versus 8 core a really a noticeable difference, worth paying like $500 more for, or what advantages do you get? with the 16 inch over the 14 inch well let's go ahead and break all of that down in this video here and answer all of y'all questions and concerns so first thing that i want you guys to know about this machine is the ports now so regardless if you guys are getting either the 14 inch or the 16 inch macbook pro you guys are getting the same three thunderbolt 4 ports which is dope you're getting one full hdmi slot an sd card slot which i talked about that issue that i had in my previous video because you definitely want to make sure you know about that before you guys buy either one of these machines also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack a MagSafe connector which I love y'all so when it comes to ports it's literally the exact same machine across the board now the next noticeable difference and it's, to me is the most obvious one and that is the screen size now to me if you guys buy the 16 inch over the 14 inch you are getting one advantage that I feel is a huge huge difference and that is the real estate that you guys have over the other so I've edited a couple projects on the 14 inch as well as some on the 16 inch and I've come to this conclusion y'all that having more screen real estate on the 16 inch is so much better than the 14 inch to me now I preface that saying I always like larger displays hence the larger displays that you guys see here behind me now when I'm editing I see more of my preview window when I'm editing my videos and having that larger timeline and even when I'm just browsing the web and want to be able to look at something side by side I feel like having that screen real estate to do that on it just looks good versus the 14 inch where I feel like like, like everything is just kind of cramped onto the screen. Now, if we're talking like ease of carry and just ease of use, then I would swing that vote to the 14 inch because it's much more convenient to be able to carry around than this big old 16 inch because of the build of these new MacBook Pros having that thicker body. So if you guys are the type that's like me that prefers larger displays so it makes viewing content just easier on the eyes, then the 16 inch here might actually be the better option for you. But if you guys prefer the convenience of carrying around a powerful laptop in a smaller compact body then I feel like the 14 inch is the better option for you as well let's go ahead and talk for a second about the performance because regardless of the screen size you want to know how does one perform over the other so in regards to my testing right with browsing the web uh, editing 4k video files listening to music even some music production on here and even connecting each laptop up to my dual ultra wide monitors that you guys are seeing right here behind me I honestly didn't notice much of a difference between the two now granted I will say that the 10 core actually did certain tasks slightly faster, but I'm not sure in my testing if the slight speed of it actually warrants you guys paying an extra $500 for it. Now, ideally, I would recommend that you guys get the 10 cores and above, and if you don't know what like eight cores or 10 cores actually mean, then you guys can watch this video that I'll have right up here on the screen, as well as down in the description section below for you guys uh, to check out because I explained everything in that video. But if you can't, then honestly, man, you can get by with eight core CPU, but I would at least do 32 two gigabytes of unified memory or the RAM option. To me, the more RAM or unified memory you can get, the better off you will be long term. So with $500 you save, you can upgrade to the 32 gigabyte of RAM for $400 more, still saving you a hundred bucks and putting that back into your pockets. Or if you guys want more SSD storage, you can buy this external SSD drive from the AppleNest.com that I personally use with mine that will give you guys 2.5 terabytes of fast SSD storage for only $400. $25 instead of Apple charging you $600 for it, which is just crazy, saving you $175 and putting that back into your pocket. Or if you spend $500 you save, you still would have $75 left over to buy something else. I'm all about saving money, y'all, and I'll have a direct link below where you guys can actually buy that external SSD combo that I'm talking about. So unless you guys are doing something like extremely heavy 3D artwork or just something just crazy labor intensive on the CPU, then I think most people can 
actually get away with the eight core CPU model that I've been using on this 14 inch right here. One thing that I want you guys to understand is when you guys are buying the 16 inch over the 14 inch is that the larger display and overall body you get a larger charging brick. Now with the 14 inch here, you only get 67 watt USB power adapter versus the 16 inch you get a 96 watt USB-C power adapter. Now, the reason why this is important because the more wattage charging your laptop, it will charge your computer much faster than the 14 inch. Now, although to some people this might not really be an issue, but if you guys are a person like myself that is a pro user, then anytime that I can have a piece of equipment that is pretty much going to help increase my entire workflow, I'm all for it, even if I have to pay just a little bit extra money in order to be able to do it. Now, I didn't always used to be this way. Trust me, I'm a cheapskate, but I've learned that increasing your workflow increases is your income flow so take that how you guys will and make that decision for yourself but overall man when it comes to overall performance i think that both of these are really neck and neck and you're still getting a lot of the same ports to me it simply comes down to the size as a main factor in this decision do you want to really lug around a 16 inch big boy and i mean noticeably bigger laptop or a more smaller compact 14 inch laptop now for me that is still to be determined so Make sure y'all go ahead, man, check back in and make sure you guys are subscribed for that decision. Will I be going with the 14 inch or the 16 inch? To be honest with y'all, man, I really don't know. And I, it's really got me scratching my head, but nonetheless, I gotta make a decision. So, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Let me get it. Uh, sleek like sleek, gliding head first. Are we in the next week? Two versions down now, have to take a back seat. Somebody calm me down, need to check the fact sheets as long as I speak. This song was made up live. Shout out squad for this video. Just hit the like button, let it fly, and play it through your stereo squad. <laughs>